Greetings Pioneers! Today we will be discussing how to convert one iron node into 72 Fixit Incorporated proprietary smart plates per minute. As shown on your display currently, this will be a significant undertaking. 1. Convert iron ore into iron ingots via the pure iron alternate recipe. This will produce 1010.67 iron ingots from 544.21 iron ore per minute. 2. Convert 1010.67 iron ingots into a. 216.0 steel ingots via the solid steel ingot recipe, b. 240.0 iron plates via the standard recipe, and c. 912.0 wire via the iron wire alternate recipe per minute. 2.5. Convert the 216.0 steel ingots into 144.0 steel pipes per minute via the standard recipe. 3. Convert the previously stated components into a. 72.0 rotors via the steel rotor alternate recipe and b. 72.0 reinforced iron plates via the stitched iron plate alternate recipe per minute. And 4. Convert the 72.0 rotors and reinforced iron plates into 72.0 Fixit incorporated proprietary smart plates per minute via the standard recipe. While this process sounds like a large task, it is easily modularized into components. Converting iron ingots and coal into the Fixit Incorporated proprietary smart plates will be a single module while the conversion of iron ore into iron ingots will be a separate module. Beginning with the refinery process, a minimum of 10 refineries is required to convert 600 iron ore into approximately 1114 iron ingot per minute which is the maximum potential of a normal iron node with a 250% overclocked Mark III miner. However, for this project 40 refineries will be used because this allows for easy conversion of a standardized blueprint to copper ore to copper ingots and caterium ore into caterium ingots. As the core function, this will require 600 iron ore and 343 cubic meters of water per minute. These quantities can be transported via a single Mark V belt and Mark II pipeline. However, despite superior Fixit Incorporated proprietary machinery and advanced safety protocols, the Terran United States Occupational Safety and Health Administration has numerous requirements that are enforced even on Massage 2 ABB. The first of many Occupational Safety and Health Administration requirements is the usage of air ducts to control the movement of alleged harmful gaseous compounds. These will be joined together into a single comprehensive harmful compound evacuation air filtration system that will remove at least 1% of all alleged harmful compounds. The next requirement is sufficient signage and barriers around any space that involve the intersection of machinery, sentient creatures, and vehicles. Third, all elevated platforms must be sufficiently reinforced, have effective railings at all edges, and have reasonable stairway access where required. Fourth, all electrical wiring must be properly organized and positioned to not be a tripping hazard. This can be accomplished most efficiently with ceiling-mounted cable trays. Fifth, all working areas must be illuminated to a minimum brightness of more than one foot candle. A foot candle is the brightness of a single candle illuminating a single square foot because the Terran United States administrations insist on using strange units of measurement. Sixth, all structures must appear to adhere to the four Newtonian laws of physics. Fixit incorporated structures are superior and therefore do not require structural support in the same way a typical three-dimensional object would. However, the Terran United States Occupational Safety and Health Administration did not allow for a Fixit exception. Seventh, all structures must provide multiple avenues of escape in the event of an uncontrolled thermal cascade or similar event that may prevent the use of typical paths of egress. These alternate routes must also be thermally isolated from the internal structure and have sufficient barriers to minimize the risk of falling. And eighth, if applicable, road-based vehicles must be provided with equitable access to parking spaces in the rare event that they must cease working for any reason. Congratulations, you have now successfully created an ore refinery facility that has an acceptably high likelihood of passing an external audit from the Terran United States Occupational Safety and Health Administration. Next, we will discuss how to create a modular production facility for converting the iron ingots into Fixit Incorporated proprietary smart plates. There are varying methods that can be used to create the Fixit Incorporated proprietary smart plates. The displayed method aims for the greatest overall material efficiency possible. 
However, this entire system can be greatly simplified if speed of construction is more critical. For example, the steel rotor alternate recipe could be replaced with the standard rotor recipe to eliminate the need for coal. However, this will increase the iron ingot demand from 28.07 to 39.91 per minute to produce two fixed incorporated proprietary smart plates per minute. If maximum simplicity and speed of construction is required, the previously discussed iron ore to iron ingot refinery structure could be replaced by modular smelters incorporated directly into this modular design. However, this simplest method requires 39.91 iron ore per minute compared to only 15.12 of the most efficient method. So it is recommended to incorporate the increased complexity of a dual material input system to increase the overall system efficiency by approximately 62%. Next we will apply the previously discussed Terran United States Occupational Safety and Health Administration mandatory requirements. 1. Provide air filtration systems capable of removing greater than 1% of toxic gaseous compounds from the air. Additionally, spaces intended to be occupied by sentient species for any significant length of time must be provided with air-conditioned airflow. 2. Provide safety barriers and signage to mitigate risk of sentient species appendages from unintentionally entering pinch points such as material stamps or belt gears. 3. Elevated platforms must be provided with sufficient structural support and handrails to minimize risk of accidental vertical descent. 4. Electrical wiring must be built in an organized manner to minimize risk of electrical shorting or tripping hazards. 5. All floor space of operable facilities must be sufficiently lit with placed lighting fixtures. 6. All structures must appear to adhere to the four laws of Newtonian physics. This primarily involves the inclusion of walls and ceilings but alternative interpretations are welcome. And 7. All structures to be inhabited by sentient creatures shall provide multiple paths of egress and those paths shall be thermally isolated from the rest of the structure. Congratulations, you have successfully created a modular factory capable of producing two fixed incorporated proprietary smart plates per minute. Next, construct 35 more of these modular factories and deliver the necessary resources to them. Before your next external audit, be sure to install a roof-mounted air conditioning system compliant with the Terran United States Occupational Safety and Health Administration Requirement 1, Air Filtration and Conditioning. Congratulations, you have now created a modular factory system capable of converting 544.21 iron ore per minute into 72.0 fixed incorporated proprietary smart plates per minute. At a rate of 520 awesome sink points per fixed incorporated proprietary smart plate and 72.0 fixed incorporated proprietary smart plates per minute, this will generate 37,440 fixed incorporated awesome points per minute. Because it takes 110 billion 85 million and 192,000 awesome points to purchase all fixed incorporated awesome shop items, it will only take 2,041.9 days to purchase all fixed incorporated awesome shop employee incentives. Thank you, pioneers, for your hard work. As a reward for completing this mandatory training, the remainder of this video will be various gratuitous factory noises.